He's such a likable character, but he's a dick. I mean, that kind of creates, that's enough conflict to do a character and feel justified that somebody is in conflict enough to make it interesting. Well, right before we started the movie, I mean, literally 15 minutes before I started my first scene, um, we decided to do the flat top, you know, and uh, there were a couple of other ideas and we did, really didn't know which way to go. And I just kept seeing this guy as somebody who was kind of stuck in this gray facade idea of the 50s, this kind of right stuff guy of when things worked. And yet when you get into his life personally, when you see him with his wife, there's nothing that's gray facade 50s about it. It is truly a love-hate, and they, I, obviously they need each other and they're using each other, but there's more than that. I mean, he gets off on talking like he talks with Doc, you know, and Doc gets off talking like he talks, but I think more Bigfoot than Doc. I think, I think Doc is the better, more intelligent PI or investigator than Bigfoot. I think Bigfoot is just reaction. He just, he's all about reaction. I love doing that scene with Benny and him. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. There's a great dynamic that happens once in a while with actors, you know, who bring in these characters. You don't know what they're going to bring in. And I think that was one of the first things that we did. And that was uh, fluid in a pinching kind of sense. Films aren't made like this very much anymore. And I'm, I'm very lucky to work with at least a couple of the people who are making those types of films. And when you, when you finish a film like this, you look back and you go, th you're just honored to be in the film, you know? I love working off him, you know? I mean, he's in it. That's what I love. I find him to be the greatest actor we have. So to be able to work with somebody in any profession who's the best at what they do or one of the best at what they do, that's always nice to be able to try and not compete with at all, but just kind of, uh, you know, take that ride, that roller coaster. Paul is one of the funniest people I know. So it makes sense to me that he does his fun. I always found his stuff funny because I understand the absurdity, you know, from, uh, from w what it springboards from, you know. I, I, th I understand his <laughs> absurdity. That's the best word I can use. But you look back at, I mean, one of his first movies, not the first, but the second. Boogie Nights is fantastic because it's a very serious movie. And yet you're sitting there with a half smile on your face the whole time. 